going from one major dick <laughs> to Dude. the biggest dick of all. I I would say he might he's in the running. <laughs> we have a 20 some odd sec 26 second clip from Dick Cheney where he's going to warn you, America, the moral titan that is Dick Cheney is going to warn you, America, about dangers to America and uh it has nothing to do with him, oddly enough. So let's hear what Dick has to say. In our nation's 246 year history, there has never been an individual who is a greater threat to our republic than Donald Trump. He tried to steal the last election using lies and violence to keep himself in power after the voters had rejected him. He is a coward. A real man wouldn't lie to his supporters. He lost his election and he lost big. I know it, he knows it, and deep down, I think most Republicans know it. So in our nation's 246 year history, there has never been an individual who is a greater threat to our republic than Donald Trump, according to none other than Dick Cheney. And that got me thinking, could I possibly come up with a handful, maybe, maybe a list of 10 of people who were greater threats to America's national security than Donald Trump? And it took me about 30 seconds and was really easy. Uh, Abraham Lincoln, who uh, blockaded American cities, made medicine contrabands of war, and shelled American citizens. Uh, Woodrow Wilson, who lied us into World War I, which was, by all historical accounts, the stage that set for World War II to pop off just a few years later. FDR, who, with his New Deal and the confiscation of gold and everything else he did to completely destroy the domestic economy, not to mention uh, lead us headlong into what eventually became the Cold War after he passed away and Truman took over. Or I didn't left, forgot Truman on this list, but let's throw Truman on there while we're here since he bombed two cities full of uh, innocent Japanese civilians. Or what about Alan Dulles? the uh, leader of the CIA back in the, uh, back in the 1930s and 40s, who was basically the progenitor of the modern uh, uh, deep state, where none of these people that are elected are running all of our lives, regardless of the uh, politicians that come and go. How about um, J. Edgar Hoover and the FBI, who the FBI has now completely weaponized against a, an, an entire political faction. And, and being used against Trump, by the way. And half of the country, <laughs> Uh, who supports Trump, and and Hoover, who was involved in things like blackmailing uh, Martin Luther King Jr. and spying on people, again, illegally in violation of the Constitution. That would be pretty uh, risky for our, our constitutional republic. What about uh, the Federal Reserve and every single Federal Reserve chairman that has, has overseen the 95% reduction in the value of the dollar since 1913? How about Teddy Roosevelt and his always go to war uh, mentality that set the precedent for all of the you know US imperialism that followed after him? How about David's buddy LBJ and his great society who said, and I quote, we will have those <clears throat> people voting for us for the next 100 years. How about SCOTUS from about, and the Supreme Court of the United States from roughly about 1938 up until very recently where your, your rights were very subjective and they were just gonna read into the constitution whatever they needed to give the government more power and constitutional cover to get away with whatever they wanted. And last on my list. It has to be. Dick fucking Cheney himself. <laughs> It's like he's Mr. Lie about weapons of mass destruction. Mr. Enrich himself via build. Halliburton through, through the 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 illegal and unconstitutional Iraq War and everything that that came with the George W. Bush administration. All of these people have been light years ahead of Donald Trump in terms of being a quote threat to our republic 